All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for June 1st, 2021. We've got the moon moving into the early degrees of Pisces, going to connect with Jupiter around 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time at 1 degrees 34 space minutes. So the moon conjunct Jupiter. Jupiter is our planet of expansion. Neptune is our planet of expansion. The difference between these two is Jupiter is about the physical within the physical realm of Saturn. Neptune is expansion outside of the limitations. Oh, I pointed to Pluto, sorry. Uh, the limitations of Saturn. Well, it's because it's here in Capricorn. You know, this is the wall. This is, Saturn's the wall. Saturn is the limit. Capricorn nature here. Uranian, Aquarian energy, breaks through the wall. And Neptune, Piscean energy, is the void, the abyss, the dreams, the imagination, the possibility, the endless opportunities. Doesn't matter what age you are, a brand new opportunity could be at your feet at any given moment. We just don't really know. Could, could be anything. Uh, so, so this here is, is all about expansion of our emotional beliefs right now. Uh, we're having the moon... As the, as the moon moves through the sign of Pisces today, at the very end of the night, come early in the morning, depending, of course, where you're at, the moon's going to start to square the nodes. So where the moon has had a kind of a positive aspect to the nodes, it's been, it's been creating a sextile from, from Aquarius to, uh, to Sagittarius, where the south node is about releasing and letting go. So we're, we're, we're coming to challenge a lot of information. A lot of information is coming to challenge us, to challenge our beliefs to challenge the, the core of what we think we know is correct or accurate information. And, and a lot of the energy, especially with the eclipse, has been, has been kind of ridding us, saying, look, what we know is very limited and very small. And we know a lot of what we think we know based on the beliefs of others and how society has created itself and the storytelling that's gone along the way. You know, this epic telephone game that's gone awry for thousands and thousands of years and we kind of break everything down and who we are as individuals who we are in society what is our goal in society what are we trying to accomplish right now during this time of great change you know uh, it's like where people were laughing at one point about people investing into bitcoin and stuff and then they become bitcoin millionaires and then the whole world's kind of turning it's like they didn't see that opportunity right there they didn't know what was going they didn't know the abundance that was going to flourish so Jupiter deals with our abundance. So not only does it deal with knowledge, you know, uh, uh, an abundance of knowledge and, and, and wisdom, but so this being our emotional connection with the moon, this is about expansion of our emotional knowledge, expansion of our, you know, the wealth of knowledge here in our hearts, and, and truly grasping and understanding that if certain things didn't work out the way that we wanted them to, that we wouldn't be where we are currently with the abundance of, of opportunities at our fingertips. That's a good chunk of what this day is about. Uh, you know, again, just kind of going within and allowing ourselves to, to simply be abundant, to be the abundant person that we are. Breathe in this breath and, 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 and enjoy each step of the way and bringing an end, a conclusion here in Pisces, a conclusion to certain old beliefs. And that's going to be relevant as the day moves on. So the first part of the day is just really uh, appreciating ourselves, appreciating our connection with ourselves, a connection with our breath, our, our spiritual practice if we have one, giving thanks and gratitude in this abundant life allowing the new knowledge that's been implemented to come in to change us, to expand us. And then as the day progresses, as you see, we have the moon squaring the notes and about to square the sun early in the morning on Wednesday. You know, so this is a much uh, a, a more, not, I don't know, difficult, but this is where, you know, the standoff exists. Are we really done with this old way of thinking, done with this old pattern of life? Are we done escaping? This can be a big thing, especially with both planets of expansion in, in Pisces. This can be with escaping reality, to live in a fantasy world, escaping reality to, to be distracted by social media or video games or the news. And it's just like, well, what really, really, really matters to you, to your surroundings, what you're doing to the, for the community? your community that you have a personal effect on 
you know, are we going back to old patterns, old habits, old ways of thinking, or are we going to allow ourselves that new knowledge and that kind of uncomfortable comfort and uncomfort? And that's the moon starting to create the sextile over there to Uranus. Comfort and discomfort. I know it's, it's, I feel like it's been something I've been saying for a while now, but it's, I feel like it's something that's going to be a continued theme, especially while Uranus is in the sign of Taurus, is, is we have to break those old parts of ourselves. You know, the lobster grows by being uncomfortable, and then it sheds its shell and goes underneath that, that rock and becomes very vulnerable. And then it grows a new exoskeleton shell. You know, but it's just like if it's if it's afraid to grow, if it's afraid to go under that rock, it's going to continue to feel that pain. It's going to continue to feel not good pressure. It's going to continue to feel pressure. You know, it needs that alleviation. It needs that release. So the moon's job over the next couple of days in Pisces is all about that release. But we have to be willing to shed that layer and become vulnerable in order to start that next chapter whatever that may be. All right, my friends, have a beautiful day. As always, thanks for hanging out with me. I love you. I wish you enough, and I'll see you tomorrow.